Well, hello, YouTube. Another video of SCRP. A little bit of Blaine County, uh, Blaine County in it again. BCSO. Just jumped in the unit. Let's go 10 8. Three twenty one central. Show me today. All right. How's everybody doing today on this evening? We'll just get in here. I'm going ten eight. Give a little bit of gas before we head out. Make sure the lights are working working properly. I don't want to get out here in traffic stop and my lights not work. Be today's patrol will be Blaine County, Grapeseed, and Sandy. We always leave from our house when we go uh, ten. We get done with shift ten seven at the house and ten eight from house, and we head to jurisdiction. Today's a beautiful day, nice and warm. Get over here and I roll my windows down so we get that lovely. Blaine County here in the windows. Everybody's out and about today. Hopefully it's a quiet day in the neighborhood. Welcome your safety belt. Don't want to get me out here and give somebody a citation with me not having my seatbelt on. Turn the radio up a little bit. If we hear some traffic, we can hear it. Hold on one sec, guys. Get a little bit closer to the jurisdiction, so let's activate the radar. Last video I put up, I was SAHP, but in here on these patrols, I'm really not going to talk much. It's just going to be strictly gameplay and legal stuff, so I may chat with you just a little bit, but I want to get where it's in here driving and uh, really get to be focused in this LEO stuff.
three trolley one central i'll be doing a property check it's going to be great chaparral route 68 nearest postal is going to be 717 i'm going to be at the ammunition sporting goods all of us when i'm back tonight we only have a couple people in server but people are jumping in hopefully we get a little bit more tonight like to come over here and check the ammunition store you never know what could be popping off in here I like to come in here just check it out check the perimeter and I come here to buy a lot of the buy a lot of my guns Three trolley one central property check route sixty eight great chaparral ammunition sporting goods code four today. Say guys, I got a text from dispatch. Hold on one sec. Central just but three trolley one central for copy the twenty one traffic. Just have some have the facts and paperwork at the end of shift, so I also like to come over here and I always like to check to church, you know, just pay my respects, make sure it's secure. I just don't want the church to get vandalized or broken into, so every time I go tonight I swing this way and I, you know, I check the church, so. Three Charlie One Central. I'll be doing a code Victor. Code Victor. I'll be doing a proper property check. Also, Great Chaparral's at Kudo Grand Valley. Nearest postal soon be seven one seven. I'll advise when I'm back tonight.
User entered your channel. Everything looks locked, so. Looks like they just freshly cut the grass, too, so that's a good thing. My charger rumbling all the way from over here. Three Charlie One Central. Show property check code four ten eight. User joined your channel. The store was open, had to buy one, get one free, and now the store's closing. So, hmm. I was going to get some coffee, but I guess not. They've been, they've been having weird um, store hours. Three Charlie One Central. I'll be doing that. I'll be doing a property check on Bay Tree Canyon Road. Nearest postal is going to be seven one six. It's going to be this brown house that's abandoned, boarded up. I'm just going to do a perimeter check. I'll advise when I'm back today. Yeah, there's been a lot of people coming over here and breaking into this house. There's a couple of uh, we had the 
the person that owned it had to come up and put wood here. People was coming from the woods, see all this wood right here, tearing it down. They had to put fresh ply boards so nobody would go in there. We had homeless people coming in here sleeping and finding uh, drug components, meth components and stuff like that. So we also try to keep an eye on this house also. Hopefully the fire department burns it down soon. Three Charlie One Central. Show me. Uh, show the property check, perimeter check, uh, code four. There's been a couple of boards uh, pulled down. If you want to get a hold of the RO owner of uh, Postal Seven One Six and advise me that there's a couple of boards loose in the back, I'll code Victor throughout my shift. And also, can you let the second and third shift also to code Victor Postal Seven One Seven, Grand Sonora Desert Bay Tree Canyon Road. If I come up here, see anything altered, I like to come and just three Charlie two, three Charlie one direct. Go ahead, sir. I copy that code, Victor. Um, throughout patrol, I'll go over and look also. Yeah, ten four. It's going to be the seven one seven house. It's going to be the blue abandoned house over here off uh, Grand Sonora Desert Bay Tree Canyon Road. Just. Uh, yeah, I think you helped me keep it code breaker throughout the night. There's a couple of boards in the main back. Look like they've been freshly pulled down, and people try to pry the ply boards off the windows. Tip them. Receive. Thanks, sir. Well, we got three. Charlie two is gonna code Victor the house too. I mean, people who see it boarded up, and but they try. I mean, there's is we've had warm weather. But when it t starts turning cold at night, they try to find somewhere to go and somewhere to lay their head at because around Blaine County, we've been spotting a lot of mountain lions and I guess mountain lions are hungry around this season and people just try to stay safe. But I mean, we can't have you or have people vandalizing, breaking into residences that they don't own just because they're trying to seek cover. You know, if, if it's legit, they're not on drugs or drinking. If I encounter and make contact with them, I do try to take them to Polito or to the Route 68 Motel and give them a stay. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. So there's more to more more to policing than to you know slap and wrist with handcuffs. So let's get out here, interact. If you can help somebody out, change their day and give them somewhere nice to take a shower and sleep at, it goes a long way. It goes a long way. Rebel Radio. Got a text from the wife. Hold on one second. Three Charlie Two is going to be ten eight ten forty one, active seventy one. Ten four three Charlie Two, I got you. Ten forty one ten eight active seventy one, sir. Have a safe patrol.
321 Central. I'll be doing a property check. It's going to be here at the Dollar Pills, northbound Harmony, Route 68, nearest postal, 7 Eleven. I'll advise when I'm back tonight. Freaking AI speeding like that. Sixty six and fifty. Goodness gracious. Three Charlie Two, show me out eight nine eight Grapeseed Main Street. Pulse, or it's gonna be property check at the feed store. Hey, wake up.
Three Charlie Two, show me our channel for nine one one. User left your channel. Charlie one central. I'm gonna be 97 on a MVA motor vehicle accident. It's gonna be two and uh, looks like it's gonna be a black charger and it's gonna be a gray and blue striped banshee. It's gonna be uh, Sandy Shores East Joshua Road. It's gonna be postal 816. User joined your motor channel. Vehicle, motor vehicle accident times two. Receive three Charlie one. Three Charlie two is gonna be 23 that way. Hey, you guys okay? Oh, hell, he's not talking. <coughs> hey, sir, can you hear me? <laughs> hey, sir, can you hear me? Uh, hey. Hey, okay, do me a favor. Don't move. Sit still. I have somebody on the other side of this vehicle that's out of the vehicle. Sit still, don't move, and we'll be with you just a second. We have another unit. We have RA in route to us. So sit tight for me, please, sir. I'm good, officer. My legs just hurt. All righty, okay. Just sit tight, you as well. Uh, you can both been in a car accident, so t sit tight. We have ambulance in route. We have another unit <coughs> uh, in route also, okay? Since you're not hurt that bad, just sit tight, and uh, we'll be with you just a second. All right, sir, can you roll your window down for me? Are you able to move at all? Uh, can't really feel my legs. Okay, are you able to use your hands? Yep, yep, stiff. All righty, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna pull you out of the vehicle slightly. So just sit tight for me. I'm going to grab the back of your neck. I'm going to put you on the ground, okay? All right. Okay, go ahead and lay down on the ground for me, please. Okay, go ahead and lay down on the ground for me. Just sit tight. Three Charlie twos on scene. Oh. All right, hand fill my legs. <coughs> hey, three uh, Charlie two, can you? My neck hurts a lot. Three Charlie Two, can you grab the medic bag? We have one. <coughs> we have one that's legs hurt, and we have one that's back, and he has a back and neck injury. All right, sit tight. I'm. I'm gonna get my medic bag. Hold on one second. How's it going? Oh, my head. I don't know. What does it look like? How it's going? <laughs> okay, uh, can you tell me, uh, what hurts on you? Um, uh, my right knee hurts and then my left ankle hurts. Okay, uh, I, I, I feel any pain in your back, neck, or spine? Uh, n n no, it's just my left, left, left. a little bit okay. jarred. Alright, uh, uh, do you have, uh, do you mind if I inspect check you for any other yeah, injuries, ahead, please, please, please? Yeah, three Charlie two. That one right there, he has a leg injury. The one over here, laying on the ground, he has a neck and back injury. So, the one laying down over here by the charger is pretty much serious, more serious than the leg injury right there. But you go ahead and tend him. I got the neck and back injury. Okay. Uh, do we have EMS, EMS in route or life flight? Uh, EMS is in route. ETA three mics. They and I told them to step it up. So, hope they get here a little bit quicker than usual. All right. It's hard to keep my eyes on. Is that bad? Uh, just sit there and relax, buddy. We got you. Well, everything's going to be fine. You was in a uh, motor vehicle accident. You're in good hands now.
Okay, okay, now he's sleeping. Okay, sir, I need you to wake up for me, okay? I don't need you to be going to sleep, and I don't, I, I, I'm shaking your leg here trying to keep you up. You don't need to be going to sleep, okay, after this motor vehicle accident. Let's let's get you in the ambulance. Let's get you situated. Leg on my toes. That That's fine. That's why I'm just shaking your leg a little bit, and it started your waist, so you're waking up. Just just don't go to sleep for me, okay? I can't I can't even wiggle my toes. That's fine, that's fine, it's fine. Oh my my car. My car okay. Eh, I wouldn't worry about your car, it's a nice car, but your your life is more priority than the vehicle. That was like that was like two hundred grand. It's or more. it's okay, your life is more important, sir. Alright, um, here, uh, EMS is here, they're gonna take over, they're gonna check you out, and they're gonna transport you guys to the hospital, okay? Alright. Before you move by EMS, uh, I'm gonna have both of your vehicles towed to the nearest, uh, junkyard, or the scrapyard, okay? It's not gonna be, uh, touched until you guys get out. And handle your bill, but it's gonna we're gonna have it uh, towed to the nearest the tow yard, okay? Hey Mike, right. can you help me up, sir? Just stay down right now, all right? I'm applying a splint to your leg, it's possibly broken. All right. Okay. Uh, yes, I do sir. feel kind of like a bone, kind of displaced a bit, so just. Stay with me. User was moved talking. out of your channel. Um, can you tell me anything, anything, anything that happened? Or, or uh, did you black out or anything? I didn't black out. Um, last time I checked, I think he was riding a little bit on the dotted lines, and I was riding a little bit on the dotted lines, and we kind of clipped each other. Alright. Hey, 322, uh, if you got this scene under control, I'm going to run to the hospital. And I'm gonna get a blood alcohol level on him. If you want to get one on him also, and then we'll see who was at fault. We don't have no witnesses or anything like that. So I got uh, I towed this vehicle. I didn't want to tow until you got him cleared from the vehicle at EMS. And if you want to tow that one, I go down to the hospital and and check his blood alcohol level before it gets any later. All right, well. Yep, we'll we'll do. Uh, how far far till my EMS units here? here? Uh, the other unit is probably one mic out. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna f f fish explain this leg up and wait for the arrival. And then probably do the same once since, since they clear him. Gotcha. Oh my god! Ah! User was moved to your channel. I'll destroy you! Sorry guys, I don't wanna do that right there. I had to see for that. Tow truck was gonna tear the scene up. All right, sir, is it too tight or? Nah, it's just fine. Okay. I don't want to be transported to the hospital. They can look. They can. They can check me out here, but I, I don't want to pay. 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 Okay. So, hold on. Hey, Sheriff, on the e EMS rigs, they have, have the paperwork to refuse fusion transport, right? Absolutely. You want me to radio him to he, he doesn't want transport? Uh, yeah, receive. He will accept the, the, the care here. He just doesn't want to pay the out allocate for the transport. Alrighty, I will advise him. <clears throat> Alright, thank, thank you. You're welcome, sir. 321 to. User was moved out of your channel. To the motor vehicle accident on the subject with the gray car. Sir, you should be laying down on the he ground. He wants still, care, but he refuses the ambulance ride. So I don't got any more pressure on it. I, just, I, I, I it just be advised.
Also, show 321 en route to the hospital to get a blood alcohol level on the subject in the black charger. Three Charlie two, three Charlie one direct. Go ahead, sir. Uh, I'm gonna be performing a portable breathalyzer test on subject. Uh, he is uh, consented to it. See it for sir. Alright guys, it looks like he's got discharged from the ER and he went to the sheriff's office, so let's head on over there. Let's head around here real quick. Hey, how's it going? Uh, how you doing, sir? Yeah, I went to the ER looking for it. They said you've already been discharged, and I really honestly appreciate you coming here. Um, I try to get there as soon as I can to get you a breathalyzer. Do you, uh, you don't mind me giving you a breathalyzer uh, to check your blood alcohol level, do you? Yeah, you can go for it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, when do you want me to tell you my side of the story of this? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm I, I want him, I want him off these roads. I mean, that was, that was awful. Well, first I'm things first. Me. Things first. We both gave both subject a BAC, uh, you know, blood alcohol level test. Uh, so we, I uh -huh. want to give you one, then we'll we'll go from there, okay? So if you can, go ahead and blow in this tube real quick. All right. Okay, so you blow a point uh, two point uh, zero or it was zero point zero two. So you have you been in, drinking or anything like that, or had some mouthwash this morning or anything like that? No, I'm no, I'm perfectly fine. I, I saw it uh, after you pulled it back. It said zero point zero zero. 
Uh, no, it says 0 0.02, sir. Let's 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 try it again, okay? Yeah, okay, uh, disregard uh, that. Sorry, the other machine. Let's let's try it again. I don't know. Maybe it, it must have been a reading from last time. It didn't re okay. re, re reset. Okay, uh, hold on one second. All right. Um, uh, ready when you are. Sorry about that. Yeah. Okay, now it says, okay, nothing in your system, okay? So it sees that you're clear, nothing in your system. No, the reading comes back 0, 0 0.00. Okay, go ahead and state your side of the story. Hold on, let me get a pen and piece of paper out, okay? Okay. Um, do you need, want me to sit down? Do you want me to stand up? What do you want me to do? Uh, after the motor vehicle accident, just go ahead and sit down for me, please. Three Charlie 2, three okay. Charlie 1 direct. Go ahead, sir. Uh, Subject blew a 0 right. 0.02 uh, on blood alcohol content test. Uh, is currently walking over to Sheriff Station, possibly weighing a ride from a friend. Uh, also, uh, have him, don't, uh, don't, uh, have, stop him, don't let him come over by the sheriff's office. We got the other subject in here, and he's irate at the person trying to get him off the roads, because he's saying he's at fault, so if you can. Receive, uh, I believe he's coming. Hey, sir, stay now. outside for a second. Go back outside. Go back outside for a second, sir. Stand outside. 10-4, I advise him to go back outside for a second. Is that him? Uh, I don't know who that is. Okay, go ahead with your, uh, uh with your, uh, explanation, sir. Okay, so, I stopped at the, uh, 24-7 down here, on uh, Alhambra here, and, uh, went inside, got me a bag of chips, came out, got back in my car, uh, I just came from the gas station before that, I, uh, turned on the marina, um, and then I turned on to, uh, what's it called, what's it called, like, Joshua, right there? Joshua Road, right there. I was going on the road. Yeah, um, I was going on Joshua, and then all of a sudden I see uh, I see this 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 car. I think it was like a Viper Viper or something, and all of a sudden he starts cruising over into my lane. I don't know if he fell asleep or if he was drunk or what, but he just started swerving over into hey, my lane ever so ever so gradually. And I tried to pull away, but it just happened so quickly I couldn't turn away in time. And he hit the like the front left corner of my car, and it just like chucked both of uh, chucked me wherever. And I don't know if how he ended up next to me but he uh, I guess he might have rolled over there but it he knocked me all the way back into the uh, to the dirt okay I, I understand everything you're complaining the tow truck people came they they we took pictures of the damages and your damages pretty much it's it's spit to a T but with no witnesses that we came up on scene none of us officers mm -hmm. witnessed the, the collision uh, like I, I can't pinpoint anything it'd be different if I came down the road I was following one of you guys I mm -hmm. seen who um, crossed I over? I do up. have a dash cam. Man. Oh, you have a dash cam in your car? Yeah, I, I'm. I'm wondering if it's still, still in t together. I mean, if it's if it's not in pieces from him hitting me, then then it might uh, it uh, it it, it might still show back. Cause I mean, it might have uh, turned on. Cause anytime I I have it basically wired up to where anytime there's a there's a large impact on one of the bumpers. Or, uh, Sir, or still one of the little uh, skirting, uh, or that's the the, uh, the the side skirting, whatever on the uh, on the car. Anytime there's any type of like car impact, it will turn on. Um, so I so need maybe you to go back outside and wait. Um, but uh, I was the yeah, one that called 911 because really I mean I, I had my phone. Um, well, I had my phone time, like I need you to step like, outside. like next to All my right. like right right leg um, on the seat, and uh, got a wreck, and, and you're it was still there inside? after the crash. So I pulled it out. And well, uh, you need to set aside, I mean, my arms still work, but my legs, my legs, I couldn't feel them. Your... I mean, I got feeling back, they were still kind of tingling. Hey, hold on, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Uh, uh, Charlie, too, can you stick him in the back of your unit, turn the air on, if, if, if you don't mind that, please? Yeah, we'll do. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Okay, sir, I'm sorry. Go ahead. We have a complainer right out there. Go ahead. Okay. So, um, so basically, I have like my phone, like right under my like my right leg, like kind of like under the edge on the seat. Um, and it was still there after the crash, so um, 
I know I, I wasn't able to feel my legs. I mean, they're still they're tingly now. I got feeling back in them, but they're still like tingly and in the uh, pins and needles. But I couldn't feel them, but I was able to feel my hands. So I pulled out the phone, called 911, and I uh, called you guys. Um, and I think he like fell out or something like that, laying on the ground. But um, but I mean, I might have if that dash cam didn't get broken into pieces from him hitting me, then it might still be put together. And anytime something hits like the front bumper, back bumper, I have it wired this way, but anytime something hits the front bumper, back bumper really hard, or the uh, the side screening, it uh it, it turns it on immediately. So hopefully, hopefully it worked. Well, that that's a very, 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 very uh, vital uh, piece of information on this uh, collision. So that could help you out in court. You know, um, right now the car is at the at the scrapyard tow yard. So I mean, okay. once you get out of here, you got cleared from the doctor. That um, mm -hmm. honestly, if it was witness that we've seen, but uh, with your injuries and you say what or you your y'all's words against each other's words or whatever you guys can't like you know he says you hit him he says you came over the yellow line or hit in the white line hit him and you're saying the same thing if you when you get out of here go to uh, the tow yard where your car is if you're or, or I'll run over there and I'll get the tape and I'll view it because like I said if it wasn't your fault and I would say the same thing for this gentleman outside if it's Whoever's fault it wasn't, or whoever's fault it was, they're going to be held accountable for it. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to come mm. over here and get a piece of paper, but for the or have the tow people yeah. come and give me a piece of paper so you can sign it. So it gives me authorization to go over there, buy your car. Uh, do you have the yeah, keys on you by it. chance? Did you have your keys in your pocket today? Um, I think they're still in my pocket, or they were still in it to get it during the crash, and it might have been there, but. Um, it's probably unlocked if it's still in. I mean, it's it's a nineteen seventy Dodge Charger, so it ain't gonna know, do oh. no auto lock or anything. Okay, awesome. Like I said, uh, uh, just sit tight for here for a second and uh, let me. And I know you've been okay. out the hospital. You probably want to go home, but just bear with me for a couple minutes. Sit right here. I'm gonna run down yeah, to the tow yard. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get that. If that dash cam is working, mm -hmm. I'll pull the dash cam. Me and my uh, number two here will check the dash cam. And we want to see who's at fault, okay. okay? So I want you to get justice, and if you, yeah. and it would also help your your insurance claim on your vehicle. So just sit tight for one second. Yeah. I'm gonna run over there and see if I can locate that tape. Is it is it a SD uh, disc, little drive, or CD, or how does that work? Well, it's like um, it's like uh, I got it from a friend of mine that makes the uh, the dash cams, um, uh, that not the ones that are made in police cars, but the same style, you could say. Um, so the so run, the run with an the SD card, right? SD card. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what's your name? What's yeah. your What's your fir I never actually. What's your first name and last name, sir? Yeah, it's Dominic Toretto. Okay, Dominic Toretto. Mr. Toretto, sit tight for me a second. I'm going to talk to this officer here, and and we'll be with you in just a second. Okay. All righty. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Are you really dumb? If I came here. All right, buddy. The, the thing is, is we have a motor vehicle accident with uh, two individuals. Uh, he's claiming that he's got a dash cam in his vehicle that records whenever his car gets impacted from the side or any uh, vehicle damage, any impact, it activates. So I'm going to run down there to the tow yard, and I'm going to see if I can locate that uh, disk drive. And I think we have a disk drive for viewing cameras off that computer. We'll come back. We'll view it. And then we'll go from there because if if one of them's at fault, I would like to rest, uh, you know, or if, and whoever's at fault, I would like to, you know, see what's going on, especially rest them. You said, uh, what 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 kind of what blood alcohol level did your person blow out there? He came back at zero, uh, zero two. Okay, did he advise at zero zero two? So that means he had a little bit of something in the system. Did he advise what what it was? Yeah, he did. What, what was uh, it? No, but. Uh, so he's starting to become non-compliant and everything. Um, once you, you said that you basically put him in the back of my cruiser, he started walking off to where I had to basically, he's detained at this time uh, with possible pending citation or charges, uh, disobeying a peace officer. Well, that's awesome. If you need to write him up for disorderly conduct and obstruction, 
that would be great. But uh, just sit tight for me a second. If you have any problems out of the one out in the car, let me know. I'll be back. But I'm going to go run and get this ST drive so I can check this out for this individual for Mr. Tread, okay? Okay. <clears throat> All right. All right. Uh, I'm going to run out real quick and check on him. So. Okay. Mr. Tretto will be I'm 44 years old, we'll man. We'll be right I'm, back, brother. Right. I ain't ready for this shit no more. All right. Three Charlie One Central. I'm gonna be heading. I'm gonna be headed in route to the scrap yard, tow yard. One subject advises he has a cam that was located in his vehicle that may have footage of the NBA so I'm going to be 10-6 I'll advise when I'm back 97 at the station and I'll advise when I'm back to that Three twenty one on ninety seven at the tow yard. Well, I wish uh, the car was towed here, but it's not. So we'll have to role play it out. Three Charlie two three Charlie one direct. Go ahead, sir. So uh, I was talking to the second subject and got his permit. Um, he is a 17-year-old male. It's going to be a Gavin Straddle or Strail, uh, and he admits to grabbing one of his dad's uh, Miller lights. Okay, 10 4, sir. Also, uh, see if he would admit if he was at fault of the NBA. Receive. Alright, streamed. Uh, they say that um, that the subject in the other, in the car, he he took a, an alcohol beverage, bev bev alcohol beverage from his father's. Uh, I guess refrigerator or something. So he had he has been had uh, alcohol in his system. It states zero zero or zero zero or zero point zero two. So let's head back over and we'll check the cam. I got the SD card in here, so we'll get there and we'll check. Let's see what's going on. Three Charlie two, three Charlie one direct. Go ahead. So he's still sticking to the same story of that they both were driving closer to the middle of the right side of the dotted lines and uh, that Mr. Toretto just kind of merged in a little bit more over to his lane. Ten four three Charlie two be advice. I got the footage when I get back to the SO we'll check it out and see who's at fault. Ten four. Three 
Charlie one thirty seven. All right, Mr. Turtle, I got the SD drive. I'm going to stick it in the computer, and I'm going to look, and I'm going to check the footage out, okay, sir? Just sit tight for me. I'll be with just a second. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You see? Can I watch it with you? Uh, negative, sir. Once we uh, once we uh, get done with the investigation, uh, you can take this SD card home and watch it all you want, sir. Okay. Hey, Mr. Trittle, can you come here for a second, please? Hey, Mr. Trittle, can you come... Hey, Mr. Trittle, can you come here for a second? Hey, what's up, too? Oh, yeah. Come on over here by the front desk for no, a second. Hold on, just trying to... Hold on, just trying to... Just trying to... Trying to move... Uh... Hold on. It's all good. Take your time. I know you just was in a car accident. Take your time. Okay. Thank you. Thing. What's up? Okay. With this, uh, with this uh, SD card showing what it shows, uh, footage shows Banshee slowing, uh, turning in, into oncoming traffic or oncoming lanes and hits the front left of the 1970 Charger it shows in the, on, on the screen. I told you. Then pulls off the road you. besides Charger. So what it is, uh, I'm gonna, we're going to get his information and stuff like that. And um, okay. if you need us to make a call to your insurance company, we will. Uh, okay. Also, but with this SD card, I'm going to need it for the court so we can uh, use this in evidence. Okay. As soon as he's, uh, we put, uh, present it to the court, everything gets or prosecuted and everything gets you know, all policy or procedures through the court. Once uh, he's charged and your car's taken care of, when the case is, uh, uh, you know, cleared, you'll I'll, I'll personally deliver your SD card to you, or you can come pick up at the sheriff's office, so that you know as of now that uh, I'll be getting in touch with you. Uh, if you leave me, a, do you have an insurance card or a number by chance? Because if you do, I can contact them, yeah. let them know what's going on, and the charge you have will be completely fixed to exactly when it was when you first got it. Yep, here's the uh, my insurance card. Yeah, I mean that that dude. I can't. It just it aggravates me that they that he did that. I mean, was it was he drunk? Was 
Well, that's that's disclosed information as we we you know I, I wouldn't want to put anybody's business out there like. But, you know, everything yeah. will be taken care of. You're free to go. Do you need a taxi or need an Uber? We can pick you up a ride or give you a ride to the where you need to go. Or if you can get a ride, that'd be great. Nah. But um, I got I got a uh, I got two houses. My main house um, is in uh, is in the city. Um, but my uh, I have like a little secondary like kind of shack that I put uh, a few vehicles in and stuff like that. A few things if I need it, if I'm over in this area. Um, so I'm going to head over there and grab a. Uh, Grab uh, my other car. All right, Mr. Toretto, uh, do me a favor. Um, after this gets going, we will need you to be a witness in the court, of course, to state your case. You mean to be a what? A witness? Not a so witness, but you have to. You have to be a point. You have to be, you know, there in court to state yeah. your case. You know, so we got the evidence. We, yeah, of course. It's a, it's a pretty vital piece of information with the SD card in hand and with you stating your case. That means we got what we all, what we all need to wrap this up, and he'll be going to jail wherever he needs to go. I, I got to get the information from him, but everything will be taken care of for you, buddy. Uh, you take care, and uh, we will have a. Uh, it'll probably come through mail. It will be a subpoena through mail. One, when do you have to show up for court? Once we get this process going, okay, sir. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, didn't you get your name? Uh, I'm Sheriff David L, sir. Oh, Sheriff. Well, nice to meet you, Sheriff. Um, appreciate everything that you've done. And um, thank you for uh, for helping me out. I mean, he almost paralyzed me. But, I mean, hopefully he'll uh, he'll learn his lesson. And he can uh, be taken off the street so that he doesn't do this to anybody else. Absolutely. And with the medical bill, medical papers you have in hand, also get home, put those in some uh, Ziploc plastic bag, paper form, bring those to court and all your medical bills will be paid also okay buddy all righty sounds good thank you very much uh buddy you take care have a blessed day stay safe out there man sorry about your car but it's down at the in impound lot thank you, you too uh whatever you whenever uh, your insurance company you let them know well we'll let them know don't even worry about it go home and get some rest we'll have your insurance company come pick your car up we'll uh, you know your insurance will cover the tow get it to the shop and by the time you get well enough, they'll come pick it up, take it where you can choose wherever they want it to be, like uh, Los Santos uh, repairs, uh, damage repairs, anywhere you want around the city, county, mm. they'll fix it. And, you, and then you just let them know when you're, when it's, they'll let you know when it's ready. You just go pick it up and you're good to go, brother. Alrighty, thank you, thank you, thank you. See you around, have, have a good one. Uh, buddy, you take care. YouTube. All right, stream. There he goes. I know it's a little bit uh, off center stuff. Uh, try to put a bit to be, piece it together as much as we possibly can. But looks like we're going to be charging this individual with a with a, with a DWI driving while intoxicated, and he's he's a minor. So. Hey, hey, step away from the vehicle. All, All right, right. Toretto, go on down the road, buddy. How you doing, sir? Can you can you can you can you state your first and last name for me, please? Uh, yeah, it's it's Gavin Straw. Straw. Okay, Gavin Straw. Uh, as of right now, sir, um, you, I know uh, you're 17 years old, but right now you're going to be uh, placed under arrest. Uh, prior to the evidence that we received. For what? Uh, don't worry, just 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 be quiet and listen. Hear me out, uh, and it will, we'll let you know everything you need to know. As of today, uh, we, we see the SD card information that you was in this motor vehicle accident. Uh, the vehicle showed the, uh -huh. SD, the SD, hold on, hold on, just be quiet for a second. Uh, and let me, let me explain, this is very vital information for you to use in court and, and, and learn this because this, this case is going to stack against you today. So on the SD card we pulled for the other driver's car that he had a camera in his car, the SD on the computer in the vehicle shows uh, the Banshee uh, slowing turning into oncoming lanes and hits front left side of the Dodge Charger what I witnessed and then and then pulls off the road uh, uh, off the road beside the Charger okay so that shows and this this deputy here says you blew a zero zero point two so I mean that's nothing to charge you with but the evidence we have well, I'm not gonna hit you with DUI of course not I'm gonna hit you with DWI you know what DWI is uh, no. 
Okay, a DUI is driving under an in, in influence. DWI is driving while intoxicated. So that's what you're going to be charged with today, okay, Mr. Stroll? Um, and aren't you, you, aren't, you, aren't you the one that we uh, arrested for vandalizing the Yellow Jack about a couple of years ago? Uh, yeah. All right, buddy, I figured you'd make smarter decisions. And, and I see that you just got your permit. What are you doing driving with a permit on the road without an adult with you? Uh, he, my dad was not home. Is it work? Okay, so honestly, with that charge, you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be, you're gonna, your 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 permit is gonna be yanked. You're gonna probably, it's gonna probably be five to six years to get your permit because you are supposed to have a uh, an 18 year old, uh, 18 years older person with you at all times while you're driving. So on top of that, you're gonna be driving uh, unlawful uh, operation of a vehicle. Under a because you're an underage teen with that needs a parent, so you're going to be hit with that today. Also, you're going to be hit with DWI or uh, DWI driving while intoxicated. So, do you understand the charges that I just read to you today, sir? I think it's bull crap, but yeah. All right, buddy. Uh, I mean, nobody made these choices but you. You know, you need a parent with you, and you got into your your father's uh, alcohol. So no, at this, that, it was it was my car. He just, he just wasn't home. Uh, well, it's you're you're 17 years old. Uh, you're not the RO. You have to be 18 years old to be a registered owner. So as of now, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will and can be used against you in a court of law. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand the, the rights that I just read to you? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, a two. Did you did you detain him? Uh, yeah, but I never put him in cubs. Okay. Mr. Straw, here in the past, I know that uh, you get out and you get a little fidgety. Uh, I'm going to have my deputy here pull his taser out. You should try anything stupid. You know me. You spit in a trooper's mouth la or face last time, and I tased you while you was handcuffed because you also got uh, charged with battery. So we're going to do this again. We're going to pull you out the car. You try anything stupid with me, you're going to get tased. Or, 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 and after you get tased, if that doesn't work, We'll, go, we'll, we'll use more of the use of force uh, tools that we have. So I'm going to ask you, I'm going to get you out of the vehicle, and I'm going to put you in handcuffs. If you comply, that's going to make, make my day a hell of a lot better today. If not, this, this deputy is going to tase you, and it's not going to be a good day. So that's a, asking you nicely is to comply, and everything will be fine. You already got charges stacked against you. You don't want any more. So what I'm going to have you do is step out of the vehicle. I'm going to open the door for you. Step out of the vehicle, face away from me, and put your hands behind your back. Okay. Step out of the vehicle, sir. Nope. Hey, I can open the door for you. Get away from me, man. Right side or left side? Ah, uh, he's over here on the on the right side. I got him. Jerk. Get away from me, man. Good gosh. If I could do drag, that'd be great. Look, man, I don't want to keep sliding back and forth. Work. I cannot 
gotta get this stuff to work. Dude, get off me. Get, get off me, dude. Dude, get off, off You're about to get tased again if you don't calm yourself down. Get off me, man. I'm going to hold you here until the correctional officer walks down the hallway. You've been told your charges. You've been uh, assessed what you did wrong. You you have a, you have a life ahead of you. You're only 17 years old. 17 years old. Why make crazy decisions, Straw? You're better than this, man. You really are. Kick him one more time, and you will get tased. Just put my papers here for you guys. Thank you, sir. Hey, come over here, man. User was moved to your channel. You good one? Uh, yes, sir. Um, so here's the papers that you uh, were talking about me bringing the crown. Just figured I'd take them here just to let you guys look at them. Uh, see if I sh if those are the ones I need to use. If that's all I should use. Uh, what paper are you talking about? The ones that like you the have medical to... Papers uh, yeah, the med yes, yes. I'm put Make sure... Okay, they're in the plastic thing. That's good. Uh, keep those on file because you will be getting a subpoena from court. So you, uh, once that comes, they set the date. You'll have to come to court, testify against the subject that hits you, and present those medical papers to um, the court. Everything should be taken care of and paid for. All right, Mr. Trudeau. Did you hear me, sir? Mr. Toretto? Yep, yep. What was that? I said just bring those papers, keep them, make sure they don't get damaged, make sure the writing's legible, don't get yeah, them wet. Right here. Okay, yeah, I got you, I got you. Just just make sure you keep them in the plastic thing and uh, bring them to yeah. court when, why, when you testify against the subject that hits you and okay. your insurance claim and all that stuff and everything will be taken care of. All right, Mr. Toretto? All right, thank you, thank you. All right, take care, brother. Well, guys, that's going to be that's going to do it. Another episode of uh, SCRP. Things were all scattered. I'm still trying to get used to the commands that you guys see drunk. I'm not used to those, but there it is. Uh, we got to interact. We got a motor vehicle accident. Came on scene. Checked both individuals out. It shows Mr. Tredo was uh, telling the truth. He had dash cam footage, thank goodness, because if not, it would have been a civil matter. Uh, I would probably have to tow both of their vehicles and set them, let them dispute it through their insurance companies. But we got one uh, in jail for, you know, drinking uh, zero, zero, not that much over the limit, not at all, it's because 0 0.8 is the limit, you know, but it's just he was a younger individual that, that point two can influence his body, his mindset, and it can, it can alter his judgment. And you see he, he's not being in prison. He's sent down to the de detention center and will be down there for a while until they figure it out. And Mr. Toretto will, medical expenses will be absolutely paid for. His car will be completely fixed all on, uh, I guess, the father's insurance or whatever is the RO is the vehicle. His vehicle will be impacted. I think the Banshee was absolutely destroyed. Uh, and stuff like that. So that was a recap. Three Charlie Two was here to help me out. He got a little bit of co combative. I had to hold him there. Correctional officer walked him down the hallway. I while well, I uncuffed him, sent him down the hallway onto onto the juvenile. You know, hate to do that to a young individual. He's 17 years old. He has a bright future ahead of him. But you doing this, you do crimes in this in Blaine County, you'll pay for it. And again, YouTube subscribers, spectators, and I just can't thank you enough. Uh, every all the views I get, everything that happens, it started it started from you guys. 
If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. But that's another episode of SERP. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a blessed day. Thanks. David L.